up guys it is i rudy bringing you another video and it's that time of the month again another premium live event and this time it is wwe survivor series war games and should be fun there's five matches on the card like most wwe premium live events and i'm here to predict what's going to happen at wwe war games so let's get started First, we have the Intercontinental Championship match. We have the champion, Braun Breaker versus Sheamus versus Ludwig Kaiser. And I feel like this might be match of the night material because all three of them are pretty good. They're hard hitting and it's going to be a brutal, brutal match. But I still don't see Braun Breaker losing this title anytime soon. I just don't see it happening. I feel like the one that maybe could win is Sheamus because I don't think he's ever won the Intercontinental title and he's been wanting it for the longest time. But I don't see Braun Breaker losing it. I just don't. So I'm just going to predict it. Braun Breaker retains his Intercontinental Championship and beats Sheamus and Ludwig Kaiser. Next, we have the United States Championship match. We have the champion L.A. Knight. Yeah! Versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And the build for this has not been very good at all. And I still don't see L.A. Knight. Yeah! Losing. I know Shinsuke Nakamura just came back and started attacking L.A. Knight. But there's no story. There's nothing. Why? Why is he attacking him? I don't know. But I don't think it's time for L.A. Knight to lose it just yet. Maybe they have a rematch at, a, what is it, Saturday Night Main Event. And that's where he drops the title. But I just don't see LA Knight losing it anytime soon. At least not at Survivor Series. I feel like it's going to be a good match. But it's just there. It's just there. And I don't see LA Knight losing. So predicting LA Knight. Yeah. Beats Shinsuke Nakamura. And retains his United States Championship. Next we have the Women's War Games match. We have Rhea Ripley, Bailey, Bianca Belair, Naomi, Io Sky versus... Lynn Morgan, Nia Jax, Raquel Rodriguez, Tiffany Stratton, and Candice LeRae. I, I, I don't know why. I feel like one of the good guys is going to turn on the team. I feel like whoever attacked Jade Cardgill is probably going to reveal themselves at Survivor Series and maybe bet betray the team. I don't think it's going to be Bailey. I feel like it, I'm leaning towards Naomi. Naomi as a heel seems like it could be could be fun but i, I kind of don't see the good guys winning this they're stacked though that team is stacked real ripley bailey bianca Valer, eo sky on the same team that's a pretty pretty solid team and the bad guys eh, they have Liv morgan which i like and tiffany strider which is good kenneth kenneth array is a great worker but overall the good guys have a better team but i feel like one of them is going to turn on the rest of the team and help the bad guys win so i'm gonna predict that lynn morgan nia jacks raquel rodriguez tiffany stratton and candice Lurie win the women's war games match next we have the world heavyweight championship match we have the champion gunther versus damian priest gunther's gonna win right gunther's gonna win i feel like the build for the build for this has been meh as well uh gunther is i don't know not Motivated, not uh, uh, he feels sad about losing to Cody Rose the other day, and like he doesn't have, have, whatever you call it, the confidence, the confidence to be the champion anymore. But I don't see him losing. I I don't see him losing. Maybe at WrestleMania he'll lose, but to Damian Priest, I like Damian Priest, but yeah, I don't, still don't see him as a champion level wrestler. So I think Gunther is gonna. Come back and destroy him and then build his confidence up again. So, I'm predicting Gunther beats Damian Priest and retains his World Heavyweight Championship. Next, we have the Men's War Games match. We have the new bloodline. Solo Sokoa, Jacob Atu, Tematanga, Tangaloa, and Bronson Reed versus Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, The Usos, and CM Punk. Someone has to come out, right? Someone has to come out. I feel like it's time for The Rock to come out. Like, I, it's been like two months since he came out and did the thing. But nothing's come from it. Nothing's come from it. So I feel like he has to come out and do something. I don't know. I don't know. 
there's gonna be shenanigans. There's always shenanigans in a Bloodlines match. But this one, someone has to come out. Someone has to do something. I don't know. Or maybe CM Punk betrays the good guys again because I don't know. I don't know. I feel like CM Punk is just doing this to do CM Punk things. But I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a fun match too. But I don't know who's going to win. Not really. Not really. But I feel like if the good guy win, Bronson Reed could probably take the pin. That's probably why he's put in the match. Maybe Seth Rollins comes out and does shenanigans. I don't know. But I want to think. I want to hope for the good guys to win. I kind of want them to win. Maybe end the whole bloodline saga for now but we'll see so i'm gonna predict that roman reigns Sami Zayn, the usos and cm punk win the men's war games match and that's it guys that's it five matches on the card five predictions and i'm hoping i only get i'm hoping i get two right i hope i get two right because this one seems a little more difficult than normal to predict but i'll be happy with two right but that's it from you guys. Like the video, like it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.